Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make interactive histograms in Jupyter Notebook. And what do I mean with interactive? Well, you might have a histogram like this, and using the slider, you'll be able to toggle between different variables in your dataset to quickly see how the different distributions are. So to follow along, open up a new Jupyter Notebook or a Kaggle Notebook. And for this tutorial, I'll be using the Brainstroke dataset that can be found on Kaggle. And if you're on Kaggle and want to add a new data set, you press this button right here, click Add Data, and then search for, for example, Brainstroke data set. And then you'll be able to add it to your project. The first step of this project is to import the dependencies that we'll be using. So I'm going to do import pandas as pd, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, I'm also going to import Seaborn as SNS, and I'm going to import OS. Finally, I'll be doing SNS.setTheme to get a bit nicer plots. And then for our interactive part, I'll be use from IPy widgets import interact. After we have loaded that cell right there, we're going to load the data. So first of all, I'm going to say what datasets we have available. So datasets, and I'm going to use the os.listdir in the slash kaggle slash input directory to see that we have the brainstroke dataset right here. And then if I want to see the files in the dataset, I can do a similar thing, but go one directory deeper. So I'm going to do os.listdir. I'm then going to do slash kaggle slash input, but this time slash our brainstroke dataset. And right here, we can see that we have the brainstroke.csv. And then to open up the CSV file, I'm going to do data frame is equal to pd.readcsv. And I'm going to add this whole data path right here, slash this file that we found over here. And then we can do data frame dot head to see the first couple of rows in the data set. And then to find some statistics from this data frame, we can do data frame dot describe. And here we can see things like the count, mean, standard deviation, and also the min and max for the different values. Now to visualize the data, I'm first going to pick out the columns that I want to visualize. And in this case, I want to visualize age. I also want to visualize the average glucose level and the subject PMI. Next, we need to define the function that will graph our plots. So I'm going to say define histogram that takes in the variable that we want to display on the x-axis. Next, we're going to say fig comma x equals plt.subplots, where we can define the quality of our plot and also the fig size, for example, 5 comma 5. Then we can use the sns.hisplot function where we supply our data frame with data, that's the one up above right here. And we can say that the x variable should be the variable that we pass into this function. And the hue, the, uh, therefore like the colors that we want to use in this plot, could be the stroke or some other variable. And then we can also say element step to have one of the variation of this his plot. And then you supply our x that we use here to say that we want to have this his plot in the matplotlib figure. And this allows us to do other things like set the x label, for example, to the variable that we supplied, but also uh, x dot set y label to just number of subjects. We can also add in a font size here of 14 to make it a bit easier to read. And lastly, do plt.show. But when we run this function, we see that nothing really happens. And that's because we haven't called the histogram plot. So to do that, we'll add in our interact statement that we imported, say that we want to uh, call the histogram plot using variables from our columns array. And lastly, we can also put in a default value, of, for example, age. And now when we run this, we can see that we get this interactive histogram plot that we can use to see different variables on our plot. And just like that, you have an interactive histogram in Jupyter Notebook. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!